Ah, finals three at Del Rio in 2019. This was an awesome game. We picked up those orange balls you see, and uh, we'll put them in the center of the field. But then at the beginning, our robot in the center here on blue started with a little hatch panel. That's the little disc you saw us just put on that center thing. The center piece is called the cargo ship. And you'll see our alliance partner up there, put a fuel ball in there. So now for the rest of the event, or for the rest of this match, we are going to be attempting to load as many points and elements onto this ship as possible. Cool. Um, you'll, you'll see here on the, on the left, we've got a red robot trying to block us. They're trying to play defense, but we're, we're, tr we're too good for them. We're getting around them. But if you see that, unfortunately, we, we loaded two in the same port, but that's okay. We're going to get another one. Where are you guys? We are, are in the bottom left down here. We are at blue 6377. You can see on our bumpers. And we're currently picking up those orange balls. We also have the green light on the side of our robot, and that was to help us target. So certain spots in the field, there's little pieces of reflective tape, and they're really hard to see on video, but our camera on our robot could pick those up and could help the driver navigate in a line. And as you can see here, our driver trying to compensate for the defense played against us. Followed by the rookie 7521 getting cargo on the blue cargo ship. One minute left, 14 point lead. Um, but there's 6800. Quickly, how many points did you guys get in this game? Right in the I um, we'll see at the end here. I know that I know that we win this match. Uh, this was a big deal for us. This is our first time to ever win an event as an alliance captain. That, that was really great for us. We put a lot of effort into our ranking points and alliance selection. And it paid off. We had a great alliance. We had great team members. And I'm really proud of how we performed at this event. If you can see down here, we're now trying to fill what's called the rocket. So in the center, those are the cargo ships. On the side, there's the four rockets. And for each of those, you need two hatch panels and two balls for each layer. Now, it's the end game here in the last 25 seconds of the match. So we're over there on HAB 3 is what it's called. And we've used our suction cups to grab a hold of the platform. And now our robot is flipping itself up onto its back. Our alliance partners here, they've lifted themselves up onto HAB 2 with our partners parking on HAB 3. Each of those, the progressive, uh, progressive got more points. As you can see on the opposing alliance, 1817, up on HAB 3 with their partners on HAB 1. Um, that's cool. Which alliance won? We won on this one. It was super exciting. Like I said, this was our first event we'd ever won uh, as an alliance captain. It was a really big deal for us. We were super excited to be working with a great alliance. And we're super proud of our performance. Finals 2 of Newton. So in championships, uh, it works a little bit differently. Normally you have qualifications and then you go into the elimination matches, uh, but in the championship, there's a little bit more than that. The whole event gets broken up into multiple parts, and then those play elimination matches, and then those elimination matches further go to more elimination matches. So this is finals two. We've made it to the top of our division. We're playing with the amazing 18 at 3310. We're on Red Alliance. We're this little blue robot down in the left corner. We're just stuffing what was called the uh, switch at the time. The points were a little different this year. Uh, they were time-based, and so each cube, they weren't actually worth any points, but they would help weigh down the scale towards your side, and then if your side was weighed down enough, you would score points over time. Um, I'm noticing that there are, like, upper scores and lower. Why did you guys decide to do the lower ones? Yeah, so it's actually all worth the same amount of points, um, but there was only, you know, three scoring opportunities on the field. We decided to go with the lower one because we felt that we'd be able to do more cubes faster and be able to better control that. It also let our robot be very low. As you can see, we're playing defense down here against 16-19. Uh, and so being such a low and short robot means that we had a very low center of gravity. We didn't have to worry about being tippy or anything like that. And it allowed us to be uh, fast and maneuverable. 
1619 over here is trying to put enough cubes into the blue side of the switch to flip it for them. And we're over here protecting it, trying to prevent them from doing so. Uh, eventually they give up and they go and try and put that cube on the scale. Uh, they're still trying to put more cubes on there than 3310 and uh, 118 can. Um. Now we're back down here in the left side. We're putting cubes in what I believe is called the uh, power port. Called the vault. We were putting cubes in what's called the vault on the left. And when we put cubes into that, it counted towards power up. So it's kind of like a video game theme. And every cube you went in there could be used towards a power up. And this is the last phase of the match. We're in the end game here. So the goal is to get on to 32 tenths forks. And they're going to lift us up, like you see here. Unfortunately, we fall off. And this is one of the most heartbreaking parts for any of our matches we've ever had. We were so close. It would have been an amazing victory. Um, thank you so much to 3310. It was a great game. But unfortunately, um, we were all involved. But we weren't quite lined up and fell off the forks. That looked really painful to the robot. It was a difficult match. It definitely was difficult to watch. We were so close to Einstein. It's qualification six of 60 at Greenville. So remember how I was talking about qualification matches. So here we're all randomly assigned alliances. So we have randomly assigned alliance partners here. And each of us is responsible for trying to earn as many points as we can in that match. Uh, these first 15 seconds here are autonomous. So everything up until this point has been fully the robot on its own, no drivers involved. And now at this point, the drivers have picked up the controls. Um, who, like, loads the, how do you guys decide who loads the balls? Yeah, so there's two places that the balls can come in on this side of the field. There's a, a blue loading zone and a red loading zone. Some balls already start on the field, but then eventually we'll shoot enough balls that there aren't any more on the field, right? So we want some more. At that point, we'll head over to the loading zone opposite of our goal. And then we have our human player over there that was taking the balls shot in there by the red team and putting them back onto the field and feeding the robot. With just over a That's cool. As you can see here, uh, we're trying to make shots on goal, the blue alliance. We're having a little bit of trouble, but we're getting there. What is that rainbow thing at the bottom? The, the guys, like the wheel. Ah, yes, the rainbow color wheel. So there's two of those on either side of the field, and there's multiple stages in the game. So when we shoot a number of a certain number of balls, we can progress to the next stage. And to do so, we must rotate that color wheel either a certain number of rotations or onto the correct color. Uh, in this match, we didn't reach enough balls to get there, but near the uh, as the season progressed, that got used more and more. And it was a, it was a fun way to add an extra element to the game. So our robot had to go over there and actually check what color it was on, and then be able to rotate it on its own and measure all of that. Right now, there we go, we got a couple shots on goal. We're trying to get more points than our opponents here. And right now we've got we've got a decent lead, but we're trying to grow that. And so, uh, some of the balls got put out from the red zone, and we're going to steal those while we can. Our robot here has a green light. Sometimes you'll see it in a couple of the photos. That is to allow us to target the goal. So our robot automatically finds the goal and aims our shooter at it. And then while we tell it when to shoot, it does all the rest for us. And so we don't have to do any of the aiming or the aligning. The turret and camera does all of that for us. Makes it a lot easier on the driver. Right here in the end game, you can see they were trying to climb. The climbing this year was really cool. It was on that truss there. And so depending on how you were balanced, you got extra points. Uh, in this case, we won the match. It was really great. We got ourselves two extra ranking points and moved up to rank four. That was cool.